All right, everybody. It is Vaughn. You're now back watching another episode of Average is Failure. I guess I should probably have the mic facing toward me to pick up my voice. Um, hopefully, I sound a little bit louder on this video than I did on the previous video. Um, you know, sometimes, like, you, you, know, you find yourself in situations maybe somebody else is, you know, like, you just are in a situation where you can't make that much noise. You know what I'm saying? You're in a house. There are other people in the house. They might be sleeping. And I want to talk loud, but I can't always talk loud. It reminds me of when E.T. is like, yo, like when he does some of his shows, he has to go into the basement so that he doesn't wake up. No matter of fact, he has to go into his car. I remember when I started off doing videos in my car, if you go back to like my first, first videos, because um, I didn't want to uh, disturb anybody in the house. So um, anyway... Getting right to business. Um, I just wanted to admonish us to for today. I think it's important that we go deep in whatever it is that we're doing, um, especially for those of you who might be in the process of applying to jobs. Um, you know, one of the things with one of the clients that I was working with today, this one guy, um, or yesterday rather, this was, but we were going over like what he would say on an interview and um, I tried to like like he was just giving me like surface stuff. He was like, well, you know, I used to do this and I've had experience doing such and such. You know, let's say um, what's what? Let me choose something. Let's say uh, let's pretend let's pretend it was music. And he's like, yeah, you know, I play saxophone and I play drums and. I've played the piano, um, etc. Um, you, you, and he was just giving me like surface stuff, and I was like, "Yo, listen, let's 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 have a conversation. Like, stop being so strict about it. Like, when you're in front of an interviewer, you're going to be having a dialogue and a conversation. And one of the things that when you sit inside of an interview and you come across as robotic, it makes it sound as if you don't know what you're doing, right?" But when you're just in the natural flow of conversation and you feel it, it brings that confidence that an, an, an employer wants to see in you or what have you. So I was telling him, I was like, listen, like when you speak, like pretend like pretend that we were just boys on the street. But of course, you wouldn't use the same exact language. But the same kind of flow is what you would use in terms of like, yo, we're two human beings having a conversation. So yes, your employer has asked you, you know, tell me a little bit something about yourself. And yeah, you'll say you're a musician, but maybe it could sound more something to the extent extent of, well, I started off in my, when I first began and, and got um, interested in music, I started off playing the saxophone, um, but my true love was really always drumming, you know, and so for a little while I juggled both of those things, um, and I have experience, you know, um, really listening to some of my idols or some some of the leaders on musical instruments when I think about people like uh, Charlie Parker or when I think about people like John C Coltrane um, you know uh, and, and maybe some newer folks like um, I can't even some none are coming to mind at the at the moment but um, maybe even other people who have influenced my playing such as a uh, Wynton Marsalis on the trumpet uh, you know I've never really been a Kenny G fan but I, I respect what Kenny G brings to the table but you know and so I model my style after certain things so you know un understand how to break down scales and mix Lydian scales blah, blah 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 right so I'm not trying to go into all that but what I'm saying is that there I started going more into a conversation and started allowing the story of 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 what I know not just the facts of what I know musically right but the story of how did I even come to know these things, right? So let's do um, maybe public speaking as one. So somebody might say, well, you know, I understand that public speaking, you know, you make eye contact and you make sure that you project your voice or what have you, you know, and so I make sure to do all of those things when I speak and I know how to speak on the topic of such and such, as opposed to if I were to come into the room and say something like, well, you know, um, I first got involved in public speaking uh, when I started seeing that there was a need uh, for uh, th those from underserved communities who needed to be inspired and who needed to have somebody that could pour into them and help them to navigate through life with information that 
um, they did, they did, weren't traditionally privy to. Um, and so I saw that there was a value in me using my voice to speak. Um, and I decided to specialize in these particular areas. And one of the things I did is I decided to go ahead and get my, you know, um, enroll in certain courses in order to develop myself, not because I needed it or what have you, because it's not like I was necessarily even getting paid from a lot of these things, but I decided that this was something valuable enough for me to to dedicate some of my resources to so that I could be better um, and, and at doing it so that I could be more effective. And of course, I modeled myself after some of the leaders in speaking, uh, such as your Eric Thomases or what have you, um, such as your Les Browns, your 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 uh, uh, Jim Rohns, and a number of others. However, um, I've also begun to develop my own style and understand the value in me just being me. Blah 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 blah. Right. So I want you to just think about those things when you're on an interview for a job, um, or it, it doesn't have to be an interview for a job. But for some of you who might be uh, doing some networking, you might be somebody who's in, you might be. Um, networking for a job or you might be networking as part of your own business venture or what have you just don't come off as a robot but be able to go into the detail of your story and how you got into where you got into not just the facts but the story of it right take somebody through a story and um yeah i'll leave it at that for now i oh well here's one thing that i think can help you with that um i think one thing will that can help you with that is the ability to go deep, right? So not staying on the surface. What I mean by that, we talked about some of the elements when I talked in a previous video video about skills, knowing your skills and how you acquired those skills, you know, the, the, the intellect. So how did you not just acquire the skills, not just your training, but, you know, what is your philosophy around some of these things, right? What, what, what philosophy, uh, how do you see it? What's the worldview or what's the context through which you see the skills it is that you have or what have you? What shapes, what, 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 what views shape how you use those skills? Um, and then also kind of like what is your character? So, so what is your work ethic, so to speak? And, and I don't mean work, work ethic in whether you're a good worker or not, but, you know, again, um, being able to tell the story as far as are you a diligent worker are you a big picture kind of thinker when it comes to your work? Uh, or are you the person who likes to be all up in the details? You know, are you the, um, you know, are, are you the, I don't know, you, I, I think I've made my point, right? I don't want to make these videos too long. So, yeah, just something to think about as y'all go throughout your day, man. I hope this was helpful and valuable to you. Um, I'll leave it at that. Again, average is failure. Peace.